Okay guys, never been happier to welcome you back to the channel. Thanks pal. Our first video back together. This is great. It's good to be back. This is good great to be feeling. back. Well, uh, Matty boy, we are going to do a video today on what quite feasibly is the best value golf ball in golf, period. And probably like in golf history. I don't think I've ever heard anyone talk more about like an affordable golf ball than that one. And we've done a lot of videos on affordable golf balls. We've done Vice and Sugar and mm. you know, all these companies that have sent us golf balls. No one does a golf ball for a buck a ball. A golf ball for a buck a ball, you can go to Costco and grab it while you're doing your groceries exactly. and stuff. There's a reason it's, it's that popular. Well, we were joking earlier on, wasn't it? We were get a Hawaiian shirt, a pack of sausages <laughs> and a golf ball. What else could you need? Yeah. Uh, oh, with the Kirkland Signature logo. <laughs> so we've tested them in the past. Yeah. Um, we've tested actually two previous versions, the original, then the updated version. Uh, and this is, this is the Performance Plus V2. So originally, if I recall, it was, it was a four-piece ball the first time. The first time, that's right. And it spun like beyond Wild belief. Wild scenes. Like a, like a Mizuno. The only other, other one we've seen comparable was the RBX Tour. And then last time it was a little bit more of a reasonable golf ball. I think yeah. a little bit more in line. It was. But every time they refresh it, I get it. I think I played with so many people that was their golf ball of choice. And I can see why. And it really did perform quite nicely. Yeah. But every time they, re they refresh it, we all know there's, you know, there's been some patent issues and stuff, so you don't know exactly what you're going to get. Exactly. I think that's, we really just need to find out with the launch monitor. And, and, and you know, a lot of people were finding out as, as more people get curious about golf balls and digging into it and cutting them in half and seeing the consistency and things like that, people are curious what's under the cover now and yes. what's in the mantle, how many layers, what's the compression. Like These things are starting to become more talked about and not just accepted as as yeah. features so true it used to be you bounce on the concrete maybe give it a little bite oh how's that cover how's that taste but <laughs> no you're of, absolutely right couple of rounds more people now that i talk to are saying oh this layer and how's that cover i'm yeah. kind of like what are you talking about but you're right it's good though it's good to see people more aware of it, it but at the same is. time it's good that someone's still making a golf ball that's like it's still reasonable to buy exactly reasonable it, price a buck a ball I, I you know we were joking earlier on like it's ridiculous, isn't it? You know, 24 golf balls for 25 bucks. Yeah. Um, $5 shipping and handling, or you pick it up when you're at the <laughs> store. Groceries. And, and look at, you know, look at the satisfaction rating. 244 people have reviewed it on the website. 4.6 out of 5 rating. People love this golf ball. Yeah, that's a good sign. That's exactly right. No matter what we find today, there's obviously something really good about this. And it's just, I think it'll be a question of what spin profile is this in and what, like, who's it for? Yeah. But more or less, it's obviously a good ball, though. So we're going to do what we do, which is the uh, test versus the Pro V1, the benchmark, the gold standard. We always, yeah. we always go back to that, don't we, really? When a golf ball is, is uh, claiming to have certain performance characteristics, this would be more of a Pro V1 golf ball than a Pro V1X. Definitely, because of the construction. If it was four-piece, you'd go to yep, the X. Exactly. And, gotcha. and it's you know, lower compression. It's, it is trying to appeal to that wider demographic and... Uh, you know, I think Pro V1 falls into that category from a, a performance standpoint as well. Hmm, do it. Go in, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been so funny. <laughs> Lovely. Soft. Sounds great. Lovely sound, isn't it? It's coming out with a really nice launch. High spin. Really high spin. We, we know that anything over eight on the 50 yarder is, is really premium. 9,000 spin for a dollar is okay. <laughs> for a, for a, how many times are you going to say that? For a dollar? 9,000 spin? Right <laughs> I'm going to say that a hundred times yeah. before we're done. Yeah, it really looks like it's spinning. It's just got zip on it. That's nice. That was nice. Okay. That looked nice. That's nice. That was nice. That one's good. Do it. Spin. Yeah. That sounded softer than uh, the Kirkland. Noticeable. Yeah, felt like it too. That's 
nice. Beautiful. Really good. Uh, yeah, I think with the same amount of force, you're just getting an extra few yards. That's it. Oh, nice pink. Lovely pink, pink tracer. Flight. Fuchsia. Mm -hmm. 69. I mean, the thing spins. Wow. That sounded That's nice. good, yeah. I think if I were to, like, if I were hitting it, I would expect this to be like the X ball. It would be like, this would be a TP5X. It's, mm. it's definitely a little bit firm. That's good. really nice. That's a really nice flight, isn't it? That's nice. It's about as good as you'll hit seven armor this one. What's that? 50 58, yeah. Eight. Exactly. That was nice. That's hit well. Yep. That was nice. That one's good. Yeah. That was nice. That's good. Oh, that is lovely. That's good. That was nice, Matty boy. Lovely flight. Yes. That's good. Get on that line. All right, Matty boy, uh, good little test. Some subtle differences to the golf balls. A little difference, especially with the 50 yard shot, the short shots, we do see a different spin uh, window with it. There was definitely a bunch with the Kirkland that I couldn't have spun the Pro V1 over 9,000. The Correct. Kirkland you could definitely get over, which for a 50 yard shot, I think it's about as much as I ever get. Yeah. And it almost seemed like a couple of them that you struck that it was an unexpected high spinner. A little bit. Which maybe then is, is rather than being a positive, oh, it's high spin, mm -hmm. maybe a negative that you can get a, a high spinner and it pulls you up short. And you wouldn't want that, would you? Like, it's, as no. I said, it's fun. Like, to hit a high spin shot impresses your friends. It's cool and all. Yeah. But you're right. I would rather see it spin a little bit lower like the Pro V did, but kind of do the same thing every time. And, yeah, looking at that standard deviation, that's exactly what we were at there. Yeah. 83 versus 249. We would rather see it do the same thing. That's where you can become uh, a little bit more predictable with your... your pitching your short game shots, hop, hop, stop, that yes. type of thing is, is ideal. Absolutely. You don't really need it ripping back. And, and it can continue into the pitching wedge. We saw some spin rates that were as high as we've ever seen off of a, off of a pitching wedge, Definitely. touching 10,000. Definitely. Just Th under. That's about as much as I've ever seen. The first few shots, I, I was coming up a bit short and I thought, okay, am I swinging a bit slow? Mm. But it's just that extra spin is, you know, it's half a club, I guess, about. It worked out that way. Yeah. Similar launch. Little difference in speed, which was interesting, but huh. the, uh, the, the higher spin rate was the significant difference with it that gave us the, the bigger gap in, uh, in carry distance. I started to feel a little bit of a click on the Kirkland you at could that hear point. It. Yeah. You could definitely hear it. The, the wedges, the pitching sounded very soft. Agree. Then the, uh, the pitch got a little higher as you started making full swings on it. Okay, into the middle, uh, 130.4, identical lower launch angle, so it's coming out in that lower window, but rising up to uh, mm. a slightly higher peak. 67, that is really in a high spin window when it comes to a seven iron few. It's interesting. Yeah, it's kind of like, a, this is becoming, it's more like a fitting choice at this point, yeah. I guess, with these two is, that's kind of like the sort of squeezy tour flight, the mm -hmm. little bit lower launch, higher spin. I, I like it, yeah. but I can definitely see how into the wind, 
or if I was already a high spin player, you might struggle with the Kirkland yeah. ball being a little bit too high a spin. Yeah, and a short shape choice, isn't it? Like right. we were saying during the video, if you're a slicer and you, you add a lot of spin and you tend to curve it you know, more than you would like to, you're probably not going to love a golf ball that gives you a thousand RPMs more in spin with the irons. And then with the big stick, which is always where it gets interesting when you apply more pressure and less loft, yeah, I always look for how comparable are they, and they were so well matched. I think honestly just me and the strike would be the only difference between yeah. the two of them for the most part. They're very, very close. The numbers came out quite, you know, quite similar. I think they might have been a little bit wider on spin if you, you, you were having a, you had a lovely little pattern of a little cut shot with the Pro V1, and I loved it. It's my favourite flight when I see you hitting that little kind of, uh, you know, just bleeder to the left. And I think that's what kicked the spin up a little closer. I good do point. think it would have been maybe 22 versus 26. That's a good point. If the, if the shot shape was the same. Yeah. Um, so maybe that's a little subtle, subtle driver difference. I know people are curious how well does it do against a ball that costs literally four times four as times, much. Four times, yeah. But you're right, you have to consider, what is your experience going to be like on the course? What are you paying attention to? Are you a person who comes up short because of too much spin? Consider those things. Yeah. And, and the price is a big deal, obviously, but I think ultimately the Kirkland's either going to fit you or it isn't. Yeah. Um, and you have to consider whether or not it's got the right kind of spin profile. Very cool. Well, guys, let us know. I mean, I'd love to hear if you've played it, if you've tried it, if uh, you know, you've maybe tried this new version, if you tried it compared to an older version, how does it compare to the golf ball that was your golf ball of choice? Let us know. I mean, you guys are, are in the field playing these a lot more than we are. We're mm. fortunate to, we, you know, we, Matty and I pick what golf ball we want to play yeah. every year and Very we true. don't make that decision based off of the same factors. So. You guys let us know. It's more important what you're finding than, than anything else. Uh, we'd love to hear it. Oh, absolutely. Yes, please do. Definitely. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. We'll see you again soon.